Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome back to A Very Swampy Portal. That was a fan's rendition of a scene from Anarchy Online. Dave, that image did not hold true to our swamp theme transmission. I know, Val. So let's get back to the swamp with a fishing trip. Now, most people like to go fishing in the ocean, or in a lake, or a flowing stream. But not our good friend Jebediah. He prefers throwing his line down in the old swamp. Meet Jebediah Kornhauser. Yep, sure do like to fish. I used to be a crazy adventurer like all them kids. Now I just like to sit here and do my fishing. But even for those young'uns with all their energy, fishing sure can be a good thing. It's a great way to pass the time when you're waiting to meet your play friends, or a boat, or when you're waiting for your magic to recharge when you practice spells. Cause when you're fishing, you can pull up all kinds of goodies to sell, even jewelry. But heck, usually the worst case scenario is you get some free food to fill your tummy. Fish scales are really valuable too, cause you use them in that enduring breath spell that lets you breathe underwater, like a fish, you get it? Oh sure, sometimes you pull up a boot, but don't be a quitter. All you gotta do to fish is buy a pole from the general store, or tinker one if you're a gnome, and buy some bait or forage it if you can, and then just find a body of water. Me, I prefer the swamp. At least that's what Dave told me to say. <laughs> Jebediah, what a sense of humor, you old whippersnapper, you. Dave, we have multiple new posts on our forum. Perfect, let's take a look. Okay, this one's from Zeratus. Hi, I'd just like to say hi to all you guys, gals. I'm also here to say this will be the forum I'll most likely be at. Why? Because online gaming is fantastic. Nothing better than to frag your best friend or band together with a bunch of friends and take a journey into a dark cave. Well, Zeratus, I'm not sure what online world you're visiting, but if you let us know, Val and I will open up a portal so we can watch you frag your friends in a dark cave. Here's another. Dave, the drifter has just filed his report. Good, all right, enough of this. Earlier in this transmission, we met the drifter, Portal's virtual hero. Now when the drifter runs into problems where he needs extra hands, he turns to you for help. If you log on to our mission briefings page found at g4tv.com slash portal, you'll see all of the drifter's current missions. Fill out the application form you'll find there, and if you're chosen, you'll find your own virtual character fighting side by side with the drifter. Now the tale of these missions, succeed or fail, will then be told here on Portal, just as this story is about to be told. And this one involves a city full of frog locks and one last hope in EverQuest's swamp of no hope. Sometimes you hear philosophic types say that the most dangerous species on the planet is man. I say they've yet to look a frog lock in the eye. Four feet of teeth, jaws, and super fibrous amphibian muscle. Death on two very powerful hind legs. And nowhere is more of them than this place, in the center of the swamp of no hope, Frogtown. Frogtown's a lot like Vegas, except there's a lot less slot machines and a lot more frogs. And yesterday, somewhere inside this place, a frog lock wizard by the name of Hopper was cooking up an evil plan. He was to sacrifice a dozen of Frogtown's finest tadpoles to some type of pagan death god. In return, every frog lock in the city would be transformed into level 60 super warriors. United, the frog locks would be powerful enough to overrun the world. Only a madman would do it. Hopper was happy to oblige. That's when I put out the call for help. Portal viewers answered. There was Krontop, the Dwarven Warrior, Tariana, the High Elf Cleric, Zeptor, the Ixar Monk, and me. We took one look at the ramp to Frogtown and charged. The power of the Dark God's magic was already flowing into the frogs. They were becoming deadlier by the minute, so we had no time or mercy to spare. We broke down the door to every home in the city and broke down the rib cage of every frog we could find. The big crowd was guarding Hopper's hut. Too bad I forgot to sharpen my sword. 
During the big fight, Scepter got the dumb idea to take on Hopper all alone. His screams could be heard over the sounds of battle. We were inspired to finish the fight and save our friend, but it was too late. Zeptor was dead. And so was Hopper. He ran for his life, but we ran faster. Some people think that revenge is for savages. I can think of worse things to be called. Hopper died in the same water from whence he came. Every frog in Frogtown was finished, and so was our mission. For Krontop, it was too much. Too much blood for one day. He cast aside his armor and weapons, and vowed never to fight again. And then there's me, the Drifter. I guess some of us were born for war. And so it's to war I shall return. Thank you, Drifter, for your service to the cause. Despite some harsh words between us, you will always have my respect. Dave, our transmission is nearing its end. Okay, thanks for the reminder, Val, because we have one last important thing to do. Ladies and gentlemen, right now, you're about to see something that you have never, ever seen on television before. We're gonna head into the northern swamplands. Mortal whelp, your final warning has passed. Now you will suffer the closing blow. Ultimate, just get out of here. What do you want? I have come to fulfill your worst nightmare. I have come to rain my dark havoc on your very swampy portal. Val! Val is no longer online. You promised your audiences of troglodytic apes and all swamp extravaganza. Well, now your swamp extravaganza will end in a pleasant meadow. <laughs> Ultimate, no! No! Dave, the ultimate has been cleared. He did it. He ruined a very swampy portal. I'll get you for this, ultimate! I'll get you for this! Ultimate! Thank you for watching A Very Swampy Portal. Please enjoy this farewell to the alligator tamer. In a world of violence, we always lose the mediocre. Alligator Tamer, Portal salutes your sacrifice. You filled our lives with whimsy. Your athleticism was unmatchable. Your love for the swamp never wavered. Your accent was fake. Oh, crikey. You were cleared of all charges. You were a dancer, a friend, a fighter. Alligator Tamer, you will be missed. Indeed, you will be missed.